What's going on, beautiful people? Very happy to be back today, genuinely. I'm feeling very, very good today. That's part of what I want to talk to you about, one of the reasons why I'm feeling very good. We have to start at the beginning. I've told you guys recently in a video that I did about trace minerals, talking to you about how lately, over the last months, I have not been myself. I've had no drive, I've had no ambition, I've had no desire to do anything. It's as if the, the human being that I once was became no one. Like, I, be, I did not want to live. I mean, this is pretty crazy. I know we're getting a little deep here on the channel, but I think it's important for you guys to hear it. And by the way, my families do watch these videos. So families, if you're watching this these videos, don't worry about me. I don't need anybody uh, cautioning me about anything, worrying about me. I am telling you, don't talk to me about these videos. I have to give this disclaimer because if it's necessary for me to talk to you about, I'll do that. But if I don't talk to you about it, I don't need any advice, any thoughts, any heartwarming prayer. I don't need anything. So thank you very much. But moving forward to help the community and anybody else who might need that help, I have not had the, the uh, what would the word be? The energy in me to live over the last four to six months. And uh, I started taking trace minerals because I'm having problems remembering things. I'm just not feeling like myself. Now, the trace minerals absolutely have helped me, but they have not solved the problems. I definitely feel better, genuinely, on an everyday basis taking the trace minerals, but they have not solved the issues that I've been having. I, I need to be very specific with the types of issues, okay? You ever wake up and you don't even feel like getting out of your pajamas? A lot of people would think this is depression. I don't believe it's depression at all. I really genuinely don't because I've been depressed throughout my life and those are short bouts of depression and they just go away. Uh, and usually they're for a reason. When you can't figure out why you're upset, why you're depressed, why you don't feel like being alive, why living doesn't seem to excite you, when you can't put your finger on why, it may actually lead to something else which is why I told you in that other video that I thought maybe my testosterone was low. Maybe, maybe my testosterone tank. Now I got my blood tests done and I spoke to the doctor. I got extensive blood work, hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of blood work. The doctor did tell me that my testosterone was in fact low, but he believed that the symptoms that I was describing to him no motivation, no vigor for life, nothing like that. All those, those symptoms to him pointed to a lack of dopamine. So he had me do some extra tests of which I'm waiting on the results. Now I woke up one day and I had to go to work. I had to do a video. I had to do an interview with somebody and I just couldn't fake that day, which I've been doing, I've been faking, like faking my way through life for months now because I don't feel like even being alive every day. You know, it just feels like, why am I here? What am I doing? I have no goals, ambitions. I have no desire for anything. I have no energy. I'm not happy. It's been going on for months and I've just been pushing through it, pushing through it. I didn't feel like I could fake it on that day. So I called the doctor and I'm like, doctor, I don't know what to do. My other tests are coming through to tell me whether or not we have a dopamine issue, but I have to work today and I can't fake it today. I have no motivation. I have no drive. I have no desire to be around people. I don't want to talk to a human being on earth. I don't want it. I don't want to do it. I, do, I can't fake it today. I mean, I can't even describe to you. If you've felt this way, you'll know what I'm talking about. But I don't, I don't know really how else to describe it. I wrote some other things down in order to tell the doctor on the phone. Some of the things I wrote were, I'm more snappy than usual. I feel upset. I need to be happy in order to go to work and be around people, but I can't force myself to do it today. I need to be normal today, but I'm just not there. You know, these weird phrases that you have to use to describe how you're feeling, 
you know, these phrases feel foreign to me because my life has not always been like this. I've not always felt like this. And that's why I thought maybe I had a hormonal imbalance or something. The doctor said, okay, while we're waiting for your test to come in, there is something that you can do. You can go ahead and take something from the drugstore called Pramapexel. He told me that I should take a quarter of a milligram. Now, I'm just going to tell you guys, I'm not a doctor. I'm not telling you to do this. Don't listen to me. I'm just a human being sharing my experience, okay? Don't listen to me. Don't do this. Don't go talk to your doctor. I'm not a doctor or a scientist, all right? Pramipexel. Pramipexel. Told me to go buy this. I live in Mexico, okay? So I can go to the drugstore and just buy this. I could also go to the drugstore and just buy testosterone. It's pretty amazing, right? That's pretty, that's pretty incredible. I have not done that. But um, because I would never want to do something without a doctor's uh, recommendation, of course. But he told me to go buy this, and he said that this essentially off-label, meaning it's not, it wasn't originally created for this purpose, but off-label, it will help you to be able to have a dopamine hit. It'll help you feel happier. It'll help you feel motivated. It'll help you have drive. And because you need that right now today, like within the next two hours, I suggest you go take it. He told me to take a quarter of a milligram because that's what people start off with when they take this medication. Now, I'm just gonna tell you, I've only taken this one time. I've only taken a quarter of this 0 0.50 milligram amount, only a quarter, because he told me to take a quarter of uh, a milligram. So that's what I did, cut it in half, took it. I went within a matter of about an hour and a half from someone who didn't even want to get their shorts on to walk to the drugstore. I had to drag myself out of the house in order to even buy this medication to somebody who was happy to be alive. I'm over there singing in the car on the way to my interview with this person. I was able to live that day. I was able to get things done that day. I was able to feel like a normal human being. I don't know what the root cause of my feelings in regards to uh, how I've been feeling over the past four or six months. I don't know what the root cause is. I'll have good days, bad days, better days, worst days, but overall I have not been feeling like myself. And this, for the first time, not only made me feel like myself, but it made me feel like I was like 20 years old. So it made me feel young, happy, and alive. Now whether or not I have low testosterone, low dopamine, whether or not I have those things I don't know, but I'll keep you guys updated if you're interested. I can do future videos on that. Some of the possible things that I wrote down while I'm waiting for my other tests to come back, uh, I'm waiting on a prolactin test and also another test, I don't remember what the other one is, is an anhedonia, something along those lines, low testosterone, low dopamine, which are two separate things but can affect one another, or a vitamin or mineral deficiency. Now, based on how I felt after taking the Pramiprexol, I feel like the doctor's right. I feel like it might be a dopamine thing because this stuff allows you to uh, have more dopamine, release more dopamine, and I felt great. I felt incredible. And now it's been a couple of days since I've taken this, and over the last couple of days, the feeling of happiness is still there. The feeling of vigor and motivated, that motivation is still there. Although I can tell you that it's waning, it's starting to go away, I can feel it. Whether that's because of the medication, which is supposed to last time I checked only last about 12 hours, whether it's because of the medication or not, that I cannot tell you. But I can tell you that this is how I've been feeling. I can, I can tell you for the first time in my life, I have sympathy, real sympathy, true sympathy for people who are depressed for people who I've told in the past, oh, if you're depressed, you need to exercise, not understanding that they don't have it in them to exercise. You know, for the first time, I'm able to firsthand tell you that I understand it. And I'm not happy about that, but I am happy to know that uh, there was something that was able to help me. So talk to your doctor if you're interested in something like this. Maybe it'll be helpful, maybe not. Everybody is different, and I only took this as a, as a, as a last-ditch effort because I had no other options.
in my personal opinion. This was fast acting and it saved my day. So I'm very grateful to the doctor and I'm very grateful that I was able to just buy this. I don't know where you guys are in the world, how much this would cost for you. I got a bottle of like 30 tablets for like 15 bucks. So for 15 bucks and half a tablet, my entire day and my mental you know, mindset was able to change. Again, I'll keep you guys updated if you're interested on why I've been feeling like this, if the tests come back saying something. But you're not alone if you're feeling depressed. There are, might be things out there, something like this, that could perhaps help you uh, if you speak to your doctor about that and if you have the same experience as me. Okay? Thank you guys for listening. I hope you're all well. Catch you guys in the next video.